the dates MTD, dates QTD, and dates YTD data analysis expressions, or commonly referred to as DACs, helps us to analyze and report our data to calculate month to date, Q quarter to date, and year to date sales, respectively. As you can see in my dashboard here, I've created reports by shipping, by product category. You can see slicers are used to power my report such that I can drill down either or just slice and uh, dice my data by country, by month, and by the year. To do this, I'm going to go to my fresh data sets where I have row ID, transaction date, ship mode, all the way to amount. To do this, first we are going to add our data to the data model, go to Power Pivot, add data to the data model. This will bring your data here. I'm going to call this shipping data and then close my data set so that I can create my DAX from Excel. So I'll go to measures, new measure. Then my first measure will come from the table shipping data. I'm going to call this sales month to date. The, the, dis the description is optional. I'll come here, then use the calculate function, then sum the amount column. So this will be amount, shipping data amount, then create uh, now the DAX using date MTD, like that. Then pick the date column. So date, like that, and pick the transaction date. Now, it's common practice to also use the calendar date but for this example, I'm going to use the transaction date. So I'll change that into a number. Make sure there is a 1000 separator. Check my formula for any errors. I see there's an error. It means I need to close again and check for errors. And I see there is no error. Then I click OK. The next measure is the date QTD. So new measure. The new measure will be... Uh, uh, called sales quarter to date and this will come from using the calculate function that will evaluate an expression in a context modifying uh, modified by filters then sum that is my expression sum the amount column from the shipping data close that then filter by dates uh, that will be now dates quarter to date like that and use the date column to pick my filter by date. So it creates columns of dates in the current quarter uh, based on my selection. Then change this to number like that and click OK. I need to close again. That the good thing is going to remind me that my formula is not well. Then I click OK. Then finally, the measure for year to date, this will be sales year to date. And this will be calculated so that I modify my filters, then sum the amount column like that, close the bracket and filter by dates year to date. So that is dates YTD, and then pick the dates column from my shipping data and close twice. Check my formula for errors, there's no errors, modify the format there and click OK. Now, once I have this, it's time for me to create my pivot table, add a new sheet. I choose to start my pivot table from here. So it will be insert, insert pivot table, but I choose this from the data model. Then I click OK. So I'm first, uh, I'll first choose the top, on the top row, to have my measures, which is sales, uh, month to date, quarter to date, and sales year to date. So that will be sales month to date sales quarter to date and sales year to date once i have those measures i can now insert my summary pivot tables this will be insert pivot table from data model the next report is to create a report of the country and then pick my three measures like that Come back here, I'll do another one by category, insert pivot table from data model, then click OK, then this will be from my category. So this will be category, pick my three measures like that, and you'll see I have them uh, formatted like that. 
I need to right click this and make sure that my pivot table does not auto fit on updating. Right click the table, um, right click on the next pivot table, pivot table options, and then remove auto fit on refresh. Then the last one is that. Now, for me to fill the, this data by date or by month and year, I need to introduce a calendar table. So I'll go back to Power Pivot. Then I'll go to Manage, go to Design, then create a date table here that will automatically auto populate and create for me the year, the month, the month name, the short form, the week number, and day of the week. Next, I create a relationship between the shipping date here and my date in my calendar table. So go to diagram view. From diagram view, I'll create a relationship between transaction date and the calendar date. Once I do that, when I go back to my pivot table, I'll be able to create um, pivot. Uh, create. Um, I'll be able to create the slicers based on this. So I'll click here insert slicer and the first slicer i'm going to pick from the data model then open the data model you'll see the calendar here i'll pick the year and the month then i'll also uh, filter this by the shipping uh, mode for this case this is the shipping mode here and click ok so i'll have the three slicers come up like that then time now to connect my slicers to my pivot table. I'll right click on each of the slicers, report connections, and connect to all this. Then click OK. Go to the month, report connections that is connected. By default, if you connect the year because it's um, because they are connected because they come from the same table, it will connect. Then I go to ship mode and then report um, connections and connect like that. Now, should I want to see what is the total sales year to date for 2020? It will give me like that, and you can see that is for 2020. If I need a particular month, I'll pick the month that I need. It will give me sales month to date, sales quarter to date, sales year to date, and also by the breakdown. You can also use the ship mode or at any one time remove the filters so that you have the full report displayed. Thanks for watching.